You're listening to the December 12, 2020 reading of Blossom Goodchild's Channeling with the Federation of Light. Good morning. I am, of course, going to start with the topic of the monoliths. Since we last spoke, many more valid ones have been revealed in the strangest of places around the globe. There is naturally much speculation and intrigue. Many are pranks, it seems, yet some have no explanation. So perhaps I should just let you flow with it. Good morning, evening, afternoon, depending on where one may be when they receive these words. Have these great pillars not left you a little aghast, Blossom? Maybe for once you are starting to believe us. We just, of course, yet... You know what we mean. Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm trying to accept them as coming from off-world. So going along that thought pattern and not letting any doubts interfere during the session, I feel we should just go for it. Knowing that we cannot reveal every purpose and intricacy, for that would ruin the surprise and perhaps be too much of a giveaway to those who should not interfere with the plan. So you say they are monitors. Monitoring what exactly? Monitoring frequencies. Energetic magnetics within a large area around each one. Monitoring the surroundings and keeping a balance energetically in those places where they are set, in order to make sure they are aligned for their duty. Which is... That blossom must be kept under wraps for obvious reasons. Yet you can feel something afoot, can you not? Only a feeling, yes. Accompanied by a vague image that's difficult to describe of these structures being activated at a certain time altogether, reflecting light from the sun. Hold on a minute. I think it's you that should be saying this, as it's coming clearer as I write. You were indeed doing our job very well. What we can tell you is that what you say is correct. They shall be activated, switched on, at a certain point in time, and create within themselves, yet altogether as one, an energy as never known before. Yes, the sun is very much involved. We would say that the sun at a certain height and power, at a certain given time, is their key. We would say that all needs to be in place by then as they work together. They are designed to be a team, would we say. When you said there shall be many, I was surprised to see others turn up so soon. They shall arrive in stages settling their energy in a few at a time in order to get established and set in stone in position. Are they connected with the huge announcement? Not directly. That is still ongoing. And all we have said about it shall come to pass. Okay. You say they are activators. Activating what exactly? We would say everything as a general answer. Yet there are many targeted missions that these structures are to reboot. Reboot? That is interesting. How so? Dearest Blossom, these monumental structures are to be set in certain ley lines and grid webs that can send their electricity, energy, flowing through the entire system. You know of Stonehenge and other connected stones placed long ago within the Earth's boundaries in order for star alignments to work with them. In these times, these star beams are essentially in place to change the course from that which has been so deeply buried in darkness to that which brings in such magnificent light in order to assist the transformation from the old to the new. Star beams... Do you mean the monoliths or the stars that are coming into alignment? We mean the monoliths, for they shall indeed appear as such when activated. Their energy of light will not be of your strongest lighting system, yet beyond anything you have known. 
So are they acting as activators for much, as well as they themselves are to be activated? Yes. The energy that shall be produced from them when combined with certain star planetary alignments shall activate within the entire solar system as a sort of all systems go. And yes, as you are thinking, Blossom, they shall activate the human soul light also. The envelopes. The thought just came into my head. Will that be the opening of the envelopes? Indeed. It shall. Wow. Can I make it clear, though, as a personal choice, I'm not going to ask when this may happen? This we understand. There are many more to come over a short period of time. One was found in the middle of a shopping mall. The shopping mall was built long after positionings were set in place for this to take place. You say they are connectors. Connectors to what? Connectors to a number of things that would roll off your tongue. Connectors to star systems. Connectors to star families. Connectors to that which is outside of your planetary limitations. To open up that which lies beyond. The entire energy of this occurrence connects the soul being with the truth of who they are. Yet many will not be able to take the energy, and as we have said regarding other matters, choose to take their leave. That would be a shame, to leave just before the party really gets started. Not for those who could not manage the energy. You say they are receptors. Receptors to, for what? Light. Signals. Is this where the pillars of light take their cue? They are indeed connected, very much, with this encounter. You say they are reflectors. Reflecting what? Reflecting light and power from source. Oh my goodness, I just got goosebumps all over and my heart went thump. So you have said before that the sun is a portal to source energy. So would you say reflecting light and power from the sun? Some would consider it the same thing. Where did the knowing of sun gods derive from within the ancients? So I just have to ask, heart in mouth once again, are these star beams and the pillars of light all connected to, with, the great event that has been spoken about forever? It certainly feels like there has to be a connection here. Blossom, it is all connected you are moving into a higher vibration. Plans are, have, always been in place. And as your time moves through, more of this likelihood is becoming apparent now. Yes, yet although I'm going along with all this as we connect today, there is still that nagging possibility of it all being surreal, unreal. Because you have been programmed to think this way. You have been programmed to disbelieve such things, to deprogram yourselves and walk into your truth requires courage, strength, fortitude, and trust. Yes, sir. Well, I have to say this is all very exciting, yet I'm not going to hold my breath for this to take place tomorrow or any time quite soon. So much else going on in the world at the moment. Never has there been a time like this. You are truly blessed to be upon your planet Earth at this time. Watch yourselves. Feel yourselves soar into a higher recognition of truth, of yourself. Exciting times indeed, Blossom, good child. Why do you sometimes use my surname and others not? We like to. Oh, okay. I just need to pick up on something. You use the word reboot, meaning what? Meaning the startup of an old system put in place long ago. Likened to, if we may, when a computer starts off clean and with good intention to serve and remain so. Yet, 
As time goes on, it gets cluttered up with all sorts of stuff that takes over and clogs the system until it crashes and breaks down. To reboot your planet, to deprogram and replace with light intention shall be the plant root. This is all for today. We feel enough has been absorbed and pondered upon. Indeed, indeed, indeed. In gratitude, in loving service, I am very excited. I think, perhaps, maybe. <laughs> uh, if you need to look up about envelopes, go to the channeling topics of interest on my site, which can be found under the Federation of Light menu. Many thanks.